Hi, I'm Stuart Shepard. This is Stoplight. Remember the president's trillion dollar economic stimulus package that absolutely had to pass immediately or else the economy would fly off a cliff, crash into rocks and burst into flames? I had no idea it would do so much for the vehicle industry. First, there was the Cash for Clunkers program, which was a tremendous boon to the personal economies of people who got there in time, as well as the national economies of Japan and Korea. Now the Wall Street Journal is reporting on another aspect that sort of got overlooked, huge tax credits for electric vehicles. Now when you think electric car, your thoughts may first go to something like the Chevy Volt, or if your kid has a Hot Wheels collection, you may think of something like the exotic Tesla Roadster. But I seriously doubt that when the topic is we're saving the economy for our children tax credits, that the first thing to come to mind would be something like this. Yep, the economy savers in the U.S. government say golf carts qualify if they're equipped to be street legal. Not surprisingly, golf cart dealers have added the government stimulus program to their advertising. This one even shows a letter from the IRS detailing the tax credits allowed on each model. Combine that savings with incentives offered by some states, and for some folks, that means economy and environment saving luxury on the fairway for free. A special message to members of Congress who voted in favor of the trillion dollar stimulus plan. Well, you passed your must-pass plan, but the economy's still tanking and unemployment's still rising. <laughs> now we learn that part of your solution was free golf carts? We just want you to know we're paying attention to who voted for this. There is, of course, one pesky little fact remaining, and that is there is no such thing as a free golf cart. If you're a taxpayer like me, that means you'll be picking up the tab along with your children and perhaps your grandchildren. Since the program is supposedly aimed at saving the environment as well as the economy, I guess you could think of those additional taxes as green fees. That is a fine American automobile.